Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can export individual tracks. Also, some people call them stems, but if you're wanting to share these with someone or send them to someone to mix, there's a couple different ways that you can go about doing this. This is the way that I do it. It's a little bit more manual. With Cubase, there's some built-in features to make this a little bit faster, but there's some little specific details that I'm going to kind of go over in this video. So this is a track that I'll let you hear a little bit of the track that I've got going here. So basically what we've got here is we've got a drum track, we've got a keyboard track, a couple of guitars left and right, a lead guitar and a bass. Let's look at the first track that we got here is the groove agent that's our drum track and so I'm going to export these individually so I'm gonna solo this track and if there was anything else soloed it would be exported as well but since this is the only track that's soloed that's what I'm gonna be exporting and so I you can see that I've got my locators set all the way to the left here at one at the start and then I've also got this going beyond the tracks here and that's because sometimes you have reverbs or things like that and so it doesn't hurt to have extra room on there um, one thing you want to note is your BPM if you've done your track to a, a, a tempo track so 86 BPM that's important that you want to convey that to whoever you're sending this to and also you want to check your project setup here you can hit shift s or go to project project setup and check out your sample rate and your bit rate so I'm here at 48k 24 bit so that's the type of file I want to export yours might be different it might be 96 or 44.1 but it's just important to keep that the same you don't have to but in my case that's I want to send whoever I'm sending this the same same quality that I recorded it at so we'll start here let's take a little listen so that's our drum beat and I'm going to go to my master bus here and I'm gonna turn off reverb and I've got a limiter there and I'm also going to cut off my EQs and I'm gonna look at that track itself and see what I have going on. I've got a reverb on there, so I'm gonna disable that as well. And you can see it here, I'm minus 12, so I could, I could bump that up a little bit, get it to minus six, about maybe a little above. So that's a pretty raw track there. I'm gonna go back here and I've got that soloed and so I'm gonna to go to file export audio mix down and then here there's different as I said before there's different ways to export you can do multiple but we're doing this manually so we're doing the stereo out here we're going to the desktop so we're gonna call this drum track and if you wanted to be cool you could put the BPM on the end of it and we're gonna change this file type to wave this will come in later this mono mix down but we're just doing it stereo right now and we want to keep this at 48k 24-bit wave file and I actually created a folder on my desktop for the stems so I'm going to go over here to my desktop and find that folder stems 86 BPM so we're gonna save that to there and then we'll just hit export and so now we should be able to go to uh, that folder and take a look at our stems there's that first one right there. So so now we will go next. Let's do the keyboard here. So we're going to solo this and we'll just take a little listen. And again, we want to turn off any EQs or effects. It looks like it's pretty pretty dry there, so we can actually bump that up a bit. So now we've got that soloed and this is a stereo track as well. So we'll hit export audio mix down and we will call this keys and um, everything should still be set like we had before so we'll export that and now I want to go to these we'll come back to this lead guitar here but this guitar and this guitar if you notice they're left this one's panned all hard left and this one's panned hard right so what I want to do is I want to solo both these and I'm going to make it a stereo file now you could send these as mono as well but I just want to show you the how you could do it this way so let's take a listen Okay, so let's see. There's no reverb plugins on here. Nothing on the master channel. So we can turn this up a little bit.
Okay, so that's good. So now we've got these soloed, and so we'll go export audio mix down, and now we're gonna call this guitar. And we're again we're leaving it stereo, so we got wave 24 bit, 48k. So let's export that. Okay, so we got those, and now let's do our lead guitar. And this is going to it looks like let's remove this little pan. We've got it set to go to the right channel a little bit. Let's reset that. And this is going to be a mono track, so let's take a listen here. Okay, so I just turned off the reverb and the EQ. Okay, so I boosted it up a bit. You know, you can see we've got all this extra blank space at the beginning, but that's we, we need that these to all start at the same point so that when whoever loads this up can just drag all the tracks to the left and they'll be in sync. So let's go to File Export. And we're going to do this as guitar, we'll call it guitar lead, and we're going to do it as a mono mix down. So let's export that. And now our last track is our bass track, so let's take a listen. Again, I'm taking off all the EQs and effects. And so I'm going to turn up the channel here a little bit. Okay, that looks good. So now we'll do file export again, audio mix down, and we're going to keep this as a mono again because it's just a mono bass. Let's call it bass and hit export. All right, so if we go back to our folder, we should see that we've got our stems in there. And there's one other thing you could do if you've, since I've got a couple of virtual instruments here on this keyboard and the drum track, I could export MIDI as well, just for the sake of it. it I mean, if whoever you're sending this to happen to have Groove Agent or they just wanted the MIDI pattern, you can do that as well. So I'll solo this and then I'm gonna hit File Export and then I'm gonna go to MIDI File and let's go back to our stems. And then we'll call this um, drums MIDI. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm going to leave all this alone. Just hit OK. So now we've got our MIDI track there. And we could do the same for our keyboard. So let's do that. File export MIDI. And we'll call this keys. Oops. MIDI. And hit OK. And so now we've got all of our tracks. So let's. Uh, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to save this as a flat session. I'm going to call it uh, just flat because I'm, I'll come back to my first project for working since I just took off all the EQ and effects on everything on here. So, okay, so let's close this down and let's open a new project and make it empty and we'll create a new folder here. We'll just call it test just for the moment. And now we want to set our BPM to 86. And let's see here, if we start pulling in our tracks, pulling everything but the MIDI files, let's do bass, drums, guitar lead, keys, all right? And then we drag them in here, say different tracks. Um, we're not gonna check any of these, but you could if you wanted to, uh, if you wanna copy them to your project folder, but. Okay, so now if I pull this all the way back, we should be good here. Let's take a listen. So that's um, those are the stems brought in, and um, you can hear a little bit of reverb on the guitar because that was actually on the amp, but most everything is pretty dry and EQ, so whoever was receiving this project could then add their own EQ, things like that. So those are some of the decisions that you have to make when you're exporting stems, and that's why I prefer to do it manually. Now obviously if you had like hundreds of tracks or just tons of tracks, you could do the, you could go to the export and do, you know, pick the channels here but I like to do it a little bit one at a time just so I know exactly what I'm doing so hopefully this video was helpful for you